Hey everybody, this is Cyrock Omega, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as Wesley. So we're gonna... this is almost certainly going to be the last stream of this campaign before we head into something else. This one's kind of losing my interest. Um... All right, let's jump back into the call. Okay, so we're live. Um, uh, right now I'm at war with the King Beyond the Wall because he's trying to attack the Night's Watch for some reason. Because that's what they do. And uh, that's about it. I'm gonna unpause. Okay. Okay. Well, Grovel the Widowmaker. Grovel. What a wonderful name. What a pleasant man. Could you actually, do you actually think you could possibly get a, be a, a good person and be named Grovel? Well, That's, sounds like the... he's charitable, he's diligent, he's just, but he is ruthless. Hmm. He's ruthlessly so he's, charitable. He's Wildling Stannis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. Um, man. It's like, it sounds like the name of a villain from a 90s cartoon. <laughs> it's like, today's villain in Beast Wars is, uh, Grovel. I loved that show. It's actually a pretty okay watch. Hmm. There is one. There are a couple characters that are legitimately terrifying. So how are you doing, Steve? What are you up to right now? I'm disbanding the smaller armies. All right. I trim the fat off my massive army that's going. Well, maybe you should trim the fat off your waist. <laughs> Man. Man. Got him. Man, King Robert, he, he doesn't need to trim no fat off his waist. Just big bones. Oh, hey there. Uh, fighting across the field, you see an enemy soldier cut off from the others. As you get closer, you realize the enemy soldier is King Grovel Songmask. Oh, are you gonna kill the king? All right, let's see. Prepare to. Let's see. What? What's his uh? Combat modifier is four point eight seven. Mine is eight. So I, it looks like I've got a good chance. I'll probably die. Uh, prepare to uh, die, song mask pause. scum. All right, Feel look. Free to keep pausing every time something pops up. Okay. In All this right. This case, I don't mind that you're pausing because you're gonna fight the king. Yeah. He is yeah. no match for my might. You parry King Grovel away with the pommel of your sword, allowing you to bring down ice on an opening in his defense. Strike. Tries to defend himself. King Grovel tries to fight back, but you force you force your way through, easily overpowering the, his pathetic defense. You strike for his heart with all of your might. Winter is coming, and he dies. <laughs> King Grovel crumples to the ground, lifeless. You wipe his blood from your weapon. The deed is done. He is dead. Valar Mogules. And look at the war, if you look at it. Yep. Chief Darkened of Shivering Foss is the new ruler. The fight is over. King Grovel lies defeated. You have won. The victory is mine. But, uh, All right, let's unpause and see what happens. All right, I'll kill 26 king. men. <laughs> like the, where is... He's got 200 up here now. All right. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause it real quick. Okay. 
Good. And one thing that could make it a bit more challenging is if we all play as uh, like Ironborn Dukes, <laughs> like Ironborn Counts or whatever. The good brothers of Great Rick Wick. Harlaws of Harlaw. And then I think the. I don't know. I can't remember who's supposed to be the High Lord. It doesn't matter. I, uh, Balon has the Lordship of Pike. Yeah. Balon is fittingly known as the Old. So apparently. His father, his father was determined to fully reintegrate the Iron Islands into Westerosi society and culture. Really? Balon hated that idea. Of course he did. And as soon as his father died, he ended all of his policy. Naturally. And then renamed himself the Lord Reaper. Mm-hmm. Didn't rejoin the Paris Agreement. You know. Nope. Pretty much all the terrible ideas. How do you get the nickname Tall Talker? You talk tall? Yeah, that's right about it. Go figure, his la his surname is Ice Warrior. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay. So now I'm at war with the Haunted Forest, or Shivering Forest. Yeah, that's one chief in the Haunted Forest. Man. So is that, that's a lot better, I guess. It wasn't a problem before. I had twice as many men as them. Yeah, attrition, though. Yeah, whatever. It's brutal beyond the wall. Gotcha. Should I send my massive army back? Probably. There's really no need for it anymore. <laughs> yep, I, uh... Dip that in the, the bud. The Night's Watch could win this on its own. Probably left them as oh, well. Oh, wow. Okay. All I right. dismissed it. I'm gonna unpause it. Yeah, that's nice. I would have laughed if he'd killed you. Yeah, that would have been great. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. I was expecting that to happen. Alright, I'm wounded. Just Wonderful. Just because you such bad fucking duel. I've got another daughter, alright. Except she's sickly. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting a lot of pop-ups. Or whatever. According to the Master, uh, master of Laws, Edmir, the small folk of Winterfell have uh, started a life of tradition where the small folk from several villages... Oh, that's just the dance thing. Yeah, that thing. Okay. That's not that special at all. Oh! Sh the Shivering Forest is having a revolt. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah, the revolt is so much more powerful than the Shivering Forest. Yeah, I'm just gonna head home. I'll let the Night's Watch deal with however much they want to deal with it. Or the revolt. Yeah, I don't think the revolt will end the war, necessarily. Well, it'll make him unlanded, which will end the war. Yeah, okay. So do you guys, when you have that option come up where it's like, somebody's not married, do you ever just go marry who you will please? Yeah, I do that all the time. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Is I've been getting a lot of them for like really insignificant members of my court. Hold on now, I hold on. Care. You can don't ask me. Well, if they have to, why ask do you think I else you could just arrest them? Oh. Well, that's why they asked me, said King Robert. <laughs> 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 I like how that. Yeah. That All right.
Of the Night's Watch is losing to that revolt. <laughs> of course good job. they are. Yeah, good job, boys. They went in with fewer numbers. Good choice. Uh, two people eloped, got married without anyone's consent except their own, and it falls to me as their liege to either accept the marriage or do something about it. Exactly. But hold on, sorry. It's like a million of these always pop up at the exact same time. Yeah. That's really annoying. Oh, well, my friend apparently married random courtier. A handmaiden. They do that. I'll lose. I accept their marriage. I don't care. Ten prestige. Him and his, his, his name was Hardmead. I'm just gonna march my guys up there and take the holding myself. See if I'll actually end this war. Peasant revolt. Hey, Steve, you got a peasant revolt. That's something to do. Oh no, a thousand men. Whatever <laughs> shall I do? I guess I'll just... I guess it's technically mine, isn't it? I'll deal with it. No, I mean, I can just raise up guys right next to it. Don't worry about it. No, I'll send my army all the way over there. Okay, you can do, go ahead and do that. Have fun. Uh, th look, this is my main thing to do right now. Huh. Better go quickly. My 4,834 men may join you in the night. If you can get up quickly enough, but you won't. Hey, be spread. Fast legs might not have. Alright, there we go. War's over. Uh, all right, your grace, I am pleased to report they captured some high-value prisoners. I mean, it's just a couple kids. Nice, I got- my book is finished. I should write a book. I'll just That's let them book. go. Well, I can't. I can't write a book. Uh, it's maybe because your character is an idiot. <laughs> he, he has ten learning. That's not great, but... But he should be able to write a book. Well, in the mod, to be literate, you need eight learning. Yeah, I'm literate at least. I mean, he could write a very bad book. This is the story. Uh, well, what are you writing about? Oh man, you're taking out. There's a story of a lovely lady. He actually just writes the Brady Bunch. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty great. It's written by King Robert. No, just the Brady Bunch. <laughs> exactly <laughs> as it was. Very popular. He went down in the future. This is what the world can be, he said, writing about in great art.
find someone in here. No, marry as you please. Always marry as you please. And Lancel is known as the handsome. That's funny. Well, Cersei certainly liked him. Did she now? She was the best. Yeah, not really. Man. No, but in this game. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, <sighs> that was me. Oh. And Steve. So I guess it was you, John. Like maybe. It was all three of us. That's all. All the names. Wait, did you see that you disconnected as well? Yeah. Huh. No, I only didn't. saw that you two did. That's interesting. Oh, well, at least it doesn't take long to restart the game now. Guess not. Okay. The save and well, I don't save and quit. Did it restart? Well, it's been an interesting session so far. I suppose. Is that as interesting as anything else? <laughs> I still love how Baelish is the lowest example of a prestige. Well, because he's the only one in the house. Yeah, I know. I just, I just like it. And it's now canon that uh, that the Brady Bunch was written by King Robert Baratheon. <laughs> He actually just liked writing, like, really clean sitcoms. As he lived in the middle-aged technology era. He was very progressive. He, he could see the future <laughs> instead of Robert. That'd be hilarious if the his whole time... Work, his greatest work was a sitcom he called Still Standing, dreamed of starring... What happened? None of you saw Still Standing, did you? No, and you also cut out. Yeah, you also cut out. Yeah, I was saying that his greatest work was a sitcom called Still Standing that he dreamed of himself. Okay, you only the slightly cut out played... that time. Yeah, you're, Damn it. you're coming in and out. Making a joke about Still Standing, the actor who played Robert in Game of Thrones was Bill in Still Standing. Gotcha. Which one was Bill? Didn't know that. The father. Really? Yeah. Is it the same actor? Yep. I looked that up. It was on around. I have seen Still Standing before. I, I saw it. Show. It was on around the same time as the as some uh, the father from Malcolm in the Middle was doing meth. <laughs> I really like the idea that Robert Baratheon, as he was, was actually a very successful screenplay writer for television sitcoms. <laughs> it's like a, t a completely different side of him. Like it's It's all he had, really. Oh yeah, he hated his job, he hated his wife, he hated his legitimate children. He wasn't allowed to see the children he actually liked. He hated his brothers. For kind of well, bad he reasons. One, he hated one of his brothers, he tolerated the other one. Which really says a lot about his lack of taste in everything. In people. Yeah. Like, seriously, there's nothing wrong with Renly. Stan Stannis is, uh, is competent, uh, albeit uncharismatic. Well, Renly's kind of an ass, but he's a funny ass. Yeah, I mean, that's about as much as you can ask for.
crap, who was it? I can't remember, but... It might be either Littlefinger or Varys, who refers to Robert's brothers as the Iron Gauntlet and the Silken Glove. Hmm. I feel like it's more of a Varys thing. Yeah, I can't remember which one it is, but it might have been Littlefinger because Ned talks to Littlefinger. Hmm. Hey, John, did the server start again? No, not yet. Oh, okay. Because for some reason, he trusts Littlefinger, but not Varys. Of course. Because that's really kind of what you're supposed to feel early on. But I feel like uh, Littlefinger is kind of reasonable and you fall into the same trap that pretty much everyone else does, thinking that the court eunuch is a, uh, an ambitious usurper. Or trying to, he's trying to get power for himself. When in fact, he is actually exactly what every court eunuch should be. Devoted to order and the throne above everything else. Whereas Littlefinger is the guy who sits there at a council meeting, count counting the swords in the chair, so he could point out to everybody that there are in fact not a thousand swords. Oh, obviously. Okay, server's up. Okay. But the John Rob's fate is actually determined a lot earlier than we thought it was. Yeah, that's not surprising. Yeah, you find out sort of in an offhand comment from the from the guy who is who is betrothed to Arya. Mm, okay, yeah, yeah. That his father called off the betrothal as soon as as soon as Theon made his play. Ah. Uh, good job, Theon. Wow. Wanna choose your guy, Chris? Huh? You choose your guy? Oh, right. Why did it let me do that? Yeah, speaking of Theon, you really shouldn't let the guy into your castle whose previous line was, Oh, we caught them by surprise. They thought we were friends. A common mistake. Steve. Yeah. Steve. What's up? Steve. Lord Paramount William, I hope this letter finds you in good health. I have been urged by certain concerned parties to take steps in restoring the precarious balance of power in the realm. So, and so, I hereby command that you surrender the Kingdom of the Trident to one of your vassals. I am certain you will agree. Signed, oh, no. King Robert Baratheon of Wesley. <laughs> no, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Has he gone insane? Okay. And get this, you're, you want... This is this would actually give it... Like it, I think this would actually give it 
to the <laughs> Prince of Dorn. <laughs> but, I mean, either that or the Prince of Dorn is just asking you for me to give it up. Because oh he's, the, he's the other portrait that's here. Yeah, no, uh, has he gone insane? Only the third time you've asked me to do that. Your grace, I assume this is yet another poor attempt at humor. I shan't surrender that which is rightfully mine, no matter who demands it by the gods. Uh. I guess you should read those letters they sent me. Oh, I won. Before I sign them. Congrats. But it's still going. Why is it still going? How could it still be going? I already won. What's going on? What do you mean? I both won and lost the tournament I was in. Yeah. No, just be fortunate that you won at least. You lost too. My spy mistress is Shona, Lady of the Neck. Does anyone ever want to be called Lady of the Neck? Well, maybe she has a very attractive neck. I bet she does. I feel like she shouldn't be labeled strictly by the attractiveness of her throat. She's got other features to her. Like, uh, uh, she is... She has gonorrhea. <laughs> Actually, no, that's, um, mm, maybe her neck is the best thing about her. She's gluttonous, deceitful, arbitrary, cynical, craven, and has gonorrhea. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of bad traits. Oh, yeah. She's a poor military ruler. Hey, you're lagging. And it looks that's like weird. she's gonna be one of the last of the reeds. Oh, that's sad. She's got a niece, but uh, that's it. I'm not gonna get a matrilineal marriage there. I do love in the game I've been playing in single player how there are more Norsemen in the Reach. Oh, you don't say. That is great. Yeah, the entire Reach is Northmen. Only like a third of the North. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Uh, George R. R. Martin really needs to do like a seminar series on making unrealistic uh, like land formations. <laughs> so what you do is that you make your plot. You set out all the things that you'd kind of like to see in it and then hand draw with crayon your map around it. You know, the best part about the map in the book is that it was clearly drawn in, dif in different parts because if you look at areas that overlap on the two maps, mm -hmm. they're shaped completely differently. Man. Like, all right, we want to have this cool old empire thing, you know, like a Rome. So what we're going to do is that we're going to make it on like a peninsula. That's pretty cool, don't you think? I agree. So now... Rome falls, as it always does, because it's Rome. It's not Rome if it doesn't fall. So what we do is have a cataclysm take place on this cool peninsula we made. See? Very good. So what we're going to do is have it actually physically shatter. So this is the cool formation that we're going to have in this. Oh, uh, what's this you say? The peninsula looks really weird before it's shattered, like it's just some sort of nubbin hanging off this continent. 
Why, thank you. Man. Now it's a bunch of islands. Yeah. You know what's pretty interesting? Is that in the seminal game Guild Wars, <laughs> yeah. there was likewise a peninsula that housed an ancient Roman Empire, which then received some kind of cataclysm, which is called in the game the Cataclysm. Hmm. It exploded in magical and split into numerous islands. Goodness. What's that you say? George R.R. R. Martin infringed upon Guild Wars? <laughs> or Guild Wars infringed upon him? That's or probably more likely. Or this just a fantasy trope? That, that is also I think very that's likely. also a huge possibility. Yeah. Of magical platypism splits peninsula into many islands. Yeah. With a Roman variant empire formerly inhabiting it. God damn it, Steve. Lady Nymeria of the Wharf. Yep. What? What happened? Oh, you did that last time. Oh, Wharf, that's right. I named all the countries back from Star Trek there. Am I treating you well over there? I can hear you. I can hear someone typing. Oh, no, that was me moving. Oh, okay. Sounded like typing. Oh, what's this? I have for some time been observing the poor performance of Lord Jonas II, whose failures have... <laughs> Become a burden on the entire realm. My supporters and I asked to remove him from office. Sounds all right. Generally, um, who's this? This is my. Who's this guy? It sounds all right. Large Jonas. I don't even. Yeah, I seriously have no idea who this guy is. He's not the hand of the king. He's not. The commander? commander. Why would a commander? Why would he be asking for the commander to resign? Because he's lowborn. Nobles don't like in this mod. They don't like lowborn uh, people. No, he's not lowborn. You know, sure, whatever. I don't care. What's my illness? Oh yeah, I have gonorrhea. My septum died. Your septum was murdered by my wife, I think. <laughs> oh, jeez. My new septum doesn't like me very much. Yeah, why did my wife murder your priest? <laughs> why? What? Why would she do that? Why would she make that decision? Why did you do this thing? I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you. You, you guys have seen that meme, right? What? I can't believe you've done this. I don't know. I oh, wow. Know. You guys haven't. It's really just one of the best things. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to put it in Discord. It's so good. All right. It's just 11 seconds long. Oh. Uh, I don't see it. Hold on a second. I'm just, I'm putting it in right now. I 
can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, why, why would your wife do this? What would be done to it? She murdered my perception. I don't even know why she's over there. I don't even. I don't even know what. What? Yeah. Why? Why would she do this? What reason does she have to do this? <laughs> I guess she was angry at him. It's like the best twist so far in this whole fucking game. <laughs> Like, this is better than the Lannisters. Like, this is great. Like, your wife just murdered my septum for no reason. Yeah, I don't know why I can't I guess legally... send a warning. Maybe. To everyone else. Not to fuck with her. Like, I've had about like, half a dozen the only people. Thing I can think of, like, uh, I've had... don't fuck with me. I just murdered the septum. Yeah. It's like when you yeah, go to prison I... and you have to shank the first biggest guy you see. It was just a normal day in the kingdom of Wesley. Like, oh, the princess just had to come along and kill someone because she was threatened? Not not just someone. The, yeah, like, the, the Pope. <laughs> she murdered the Pope. And just, and just walked scot-free from it. Yeah, she's your daughter, she Steve. Just, like, she just wiped her hands and just walked yeah. away as casual. Yeah, she's your happy. daughter. Oh, wow. So she walked into her father's house, murdered his priest, and murdered a septum. No, it was. Man, I need to have a talk with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool behavior. She's Jones or something, I just know it. Don't you hate it when you just kind of kill someone? I know I've been feeling bad. But you didn't have to kill my septum. <laughs> he says while absentmindedly signing another letter to tyrant. Why signs a letter dividing the kingdom numerous gavel kind titles? I like how you have the annoyed religious authorities modifier. <laughs> They're easily annoyed. Hey, uh, your daughter just killed the priest. Yeah, so? I find this annoying. <laughs> Look what am I gonna do? What are her traits, by the way? Oh, she's she has some bad traits. Uh, she is oddly enough trusting. She's strong, and na now she's dishonorable. But she's also proud, wrathful, brave, and lustful. She is definitely your daughter. She wrung his neck. <laughs> just, just ran up to him and just... <laughs> yes, my daughter, wife, my septum. Wow. Technically, I don't know this. Robert doesn't know this happened. Apparently. He just thinks it's something and died. Man, your son has cancer. Mine? No, Steve's. 
not good. Yeah, but his grandson's attractive. And sickly. He is the most handsome baby you have ever seen. No, don't say that, please. <laughs> I can't even find my septum, my old septum. I don't even know where. You can try to look him up to see what his traits were. Go to. Uh, you still hold the city of King's Landing. Uh, you may want to get rid of that. Why? Because it's making less money than it could if someone actually could that could own it owned it. Just right click on it and then go to create new vassal or give it to someone, whatever floats your boat. Where is it? It's go to your province. Go you to the. Give it to your second. You should give it to your second son, well, legitimate son, Baldrick of Wesley. Wait, no, he's the one who wanted to be a maester, right? Yeah. Never mind. Anyway, go to the Sept of Baylor. That's your fourth holding in the bottom six. Go to history. Actually, no, uh, he's not there. Hmm. Okay. Because it... the High Septon cannot be. <laughs> right. Andrew Waters, my son. Yeah, well, you had the bastard. Wait. Actually, you could give it to him. I got legitimized him. All right. That that wasn't what we meant. We meant the city, not the county. Oh fuck! Yeah, why did why'd you do that? Steve! God damn it. Why did you think that's how what we meant? I clicked the wrong button. Cl uh, yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna revoke the Good thing there battle. aren't game over buttons, or else you'd well, have clicked you it already. To, I think you have a decision to just reclaim King Landing. In the intrigue menu. Sorry, son. I, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> and signed the wrong... Uh, no, I don't. I don't have that app. Uh, I have to wait until I can... Okay, so like April. A whole year. <sighs> really, dude? This would be a bad time to die. If only you were King Robert the Illiterate. <laughs> no, he's worse. He doesn't even book choose book. to read. You gotta have. It's like they give you little single page outlines of like world events that are going on, and they have to make it sound like it's about you as much as possible to keep your interest. Oh, oh, there we dark. go. Oh, shit. Jeez. I need to test it one of these days to see if it's really because I'm streaming that this is doing this. I mean, but it never really happened besides... It never really happened in the regular It's because game. the base game is less, re less resource intensive. Yeah. So the mod being active exacerbates... Well, the problem is in the base game itself. I'm starting the game. Yeah, but the mod, because it's so resource intensive, it exacerbates. Mm hmm. I at least want you to die. Right up until he did that, I had a plot going against him. 
Am I Zapton? Hmm. Yes, you're Zapton. All right, so a new patch is going to be coming out for the base game in the next Ooh. week. That's cool. Bug fixes, rolling out, updating the main menu. The new menu is modernized and more in line with how you would expect a menu to work. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a weird sentence. All the related buttons have now been grouped together in a way that provides a clear overview. Uh, let me give a screenshot. Okay, cool. You're able to continue last save without having to go into the load game menu. All right. There's a change log. All right. Offer consort available without monks and mystics. What's it? Seven coat of arms and emblems provided to people who own War of the Roses. I don't know what that is. Yeah, uh, that's War of the I don't Roses. I know what the War of the Roses is, but I don't know what that is in relation to Shader Kings. Yeah, that's strange. Wait, is that that ebook that is on Steam? Hold on, I don't think so. The only things that I don't own are the Song of Roland and, uh, Tales of Treachery. That's interesting. And that'd be awkward if they just leaked what the new DLC was. Just like, oops, we put it in there. We, we, we said the name. Man, you're really going to town on that microphone. Oh, sorry. Alright, server's up. Alright, um... The Ark of the Covenant- Oh! The Ark of the Covenant can now be found by Jews and Christians when hunting artifacts. They didn't know there was an Ark of the Covenant. Sure there is. It's in Ethiopia. Oh, yeah, yeah, tell my advisors that. They've never found anything. <laughs> okay, they, apparently they're fixing it taking a month for the game to start generating women for marriage, so that's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Added a risk for particularly evil actions within a devil worshipping society leading to demon hunters coming after you, okay. I thought they already had that. I think they're probably just making it bigger. Oh, okay. It's like, I've been killed by the uh by demon hunters before, but da 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 a flag. Anything else interesting?
Bloody flux apparently broke out. Blood, bloody flu. It's bloody flux. Got an X at yeah. the end. Yeah, but it's pronounced flu. It's like one of those weird, like, French things. Yeah, I don't think that's how French works. Sure it is. You don't pronounce any consonant. I don't think that's how French works in English. <laughs> right, let's see. Alright. That's all the AI is bad. The realm will and surely so I bleed won the with. Tournament. Congrats. I think it's still going. Nope, nope. It looks like it's over. I actually won. Nice. Hey. You didn't win, lose this one. Yeah. So, we went back in time. Because my son, Andrew Waters, does not have a. Uh, oh, that's nice. Title. That's good. I think we would have restarted from where we originally started. No, I started at war. That's true. Or maybe I... Yeah, we started... We ended up started during the tournament. I won, I won one. This time I actually won it, though. Totally on well, purpose. So far, it's gone better than before. This is also before I sent you that message. <laughs> and I think I refused it this time, so I guess everything it's like an alternate history. Went, well. A very slightly alternate history. Yeah, this guy's asking me to get uh, this guy out from under. Whatever, we didn't really miss anything. Right. Which means my septum feedback. Yeah, my wife is not a no murderer or whatever. That's good. Oh no, no. He's still dead. Oh, is he? Sure? Yep, because the new Septon is 31, which is the new Septon I picked last time. Ah. I guess she just didn't get caught this Chris? What? You went out a little bit again. Sorry, I said I guess she just didn't get caught. I like how one of the things they changed, one of the things they say in this, in this log is that they made the close button on the China screen prettier. <laughs> That's a quote. Oh yeah, John, you're just, your uncle just asked me for... For what? To depose you. Mommy. Oh, of course he did. Freaking Admir. Not Admir. Igon. Igon. Igon? Oh. oh. You dropped, John. Great. Who the hell's Igon? Boy, right, make sure to save it this time. Yeah, yeah. Admir's brother? Oh, okay. But that uncle. Hold on a second. I didn't even transition off the loading screen. Not that it mattered, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I didn't look over to the other computer, so I didn't notice. Yeah, I have the pavilion running your stream. So wait, did the, uh...
Did the game crash or something? Mm-hmm. Oh, it just straight up crash? No, I mean, it disconnected, you, you know, the stupid whatever. Okay, sync. Hodor. Hodor. Yeah, he can only say Hodor. Oh. That makes sense. All right. Hold on, I'm, I'm waiting for something that finish updating for a different game. Oh, that's where it's doing it. The download from that. It should be, I mean, everything's downloaded for it, but it's... No, I'll just pause it. So they're probably just taking up just a little bit too much of your bandwidth. Oh, hopefully that's the situation. Alright, so, uh, what exactly... I, I see somebody on the... In the comments of the... Dev Diary. They're like, War of the Roses, and like... Uh, questioning what that means, and he says that... Does... Ah, oh, never mind, got excited there for a moment. Yeah, he just spoiled it. Was it the new DLC that's coming out? I don't know. Makes it sound like it was... I don't know. How's the game loading? I just started. Nothing on the wiki says anything about having actually announced the, uh, thing. Maybe that ex just referred to it. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the wiki doesn't say anything about new DLC announced yet. I feel like it may be announced kind of soon. Maybe come out like late summer, early early fall, maybe. Who knows? Servers up.
Okay, let's see where we are now. Did you manage to save it? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let's keep it at speed one now, I guess. In case that was too much. Hey Steve, so uh, there is a vassal of Chris's um, that is like a relative of his. You see those kind of like pointy areas on the sort of northeastern segment of Chris's territory? It's, um, yeah. it's uh, the Dutch is called the Fingers. Could you rename it the Chicken Fingers? Please don't. Because I can't change anything you change back. Well, so I'll just put it out there for you. For a price, I might be able to just say I King Robert of the name. What is your price? Nah, I have to take Chris's counsel in that regard. He can't change it back. Okay. It simply seems unfair. Maybe that... I feel like that was something that George R. R. Martin was considering at one point. Let's call this the Chicken Fingers. I named everything else a pretty stupid name. Why not this? Or do you think he looked at like the list of names or things and just kind of smiled and was really proud of himself? I don't know. It's like, man, this this area up here, this chunk, I'll call it the North. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, what the hell? Oh. Hey, you guys just want to play the Yugers for the rest of it? Yeah, like, screw this. Come on. <laughs> Alright, that's okay. the end of this campaign. It's over. Robert survived. Yeah, ironically. Yeah, Robert outlived all of us. Did not see that coming. And it turned into a, an elective monarchy, and there is peace forever. Explorers would head east to the, the Black Continent, where literally nothing is, and nothing was achieved. There, wa there wasn't even any land there, it was just a map. <laughs> drawn in crayon. Very poorly, uh, very poorly drawn map. That looked so unrealistic. With such crappy names, too. Looks so British. Yeah. With, uh, with a bunch of areas in this land that's not China, that's like... <laughs> like, it... It's like their name... Their, their names for Chinese things that... Are made by someone who doesn't know anything about the Chinese language. Just kind of put put an X in there somewhere. I don't know. And who cares about the subcontinent? No one cares. It's not like there's like a third of the human population throughout all of history in there. I don't understand it, so I don't want to put it there. 
no one understands Indian history. Which is exactly why, like, not even the Indians understand Indian history. That's one it's of the. It's just too much. It's like in in Dungeons and Dragons, there's there's um, Faerun, you know, the Forgotten Realms setting. Mm -hmm. So it's like you got this big old Europe. That's it's really pretty Europe. Europe. It's pretty Europe. There's kind of this peninsula that's Africa, sort of, I guess. There's this continent for Arabia. A decent, uh, like, a, a, a good bit of land for, like, China and Japan and Korea and all that. There's no India. Zero India. And nothing that you could call India exists in the Forgotten Realms. That's true. Nothing. I've never heard of any India in the Forgotten Realms. Not a hint. It's like there's one area that is... That it's like there there's hints at so there is a definitive Aztec hey, so Empire. I got another one. So in the seminal game Guild Wars. <laughs> yeah. You have an Asian continent, a semi European continent, also have hints of Africa. An Arabian continent with some other hints of the Middle East. And you have a peninsula that Romans used to live on that was destroyed in a cataclysm and turned into an ocean of island. But again, there's no hint of India in any day. The India just gets skipped, skipped over in the uh, fantasy canon. Yep. Like completely, like wholly. Well, in Prince of Persia, the prologues, the prologue level is India. Yeah, but Prince of Persia is a little bit outside of this area, <laughs> I think. I think if you look at this area, you can identify several common factors about it. First of all, you have a Europe area. The because Europe, Europe is the base, the like, base Europe, thing for humanity, you know? Europe is it's just regular people. Europe is enlarged to a point, which is absurd for the real world. If you were to enlarge Europe to that point, it would like be like the size of the Pacific Ocean. It's almost as if making a whole continent for Europe Asia, is unrealistic and ridiculous. You have an ridiculous. Asia, which is roughly the same size of Europe, or sometimes even England. Freaking Westeros. Stupid as hell. Right. Then you have a Middle East place, and you have some reference to an Africa place. Africa needn't appear, or it may appear, and be incredibly small as in a room. But but it's still it's like a vague idea. It's not expanded upon too much. And it didn't get like true how about... most Westerners actually see the right. idea that's not expanded upon. Which is interesting because th that is kind of the case for most like fantasy, like medieval fantasy, European based fantasy worlds. Yeah, they run.